second world champion. We might only have one race today, but can someone else other than Danny Holdgardo find that ship action from Aragon is underway. Ruane fires from pole position. Has he got the start? It looks good to me. It's only a pocket rocket. It's the 90. Uh, it wasn't such a great start, unfortunately, for Tapia on the inside of the front row on the Leopard bike. He's been shuffled back to sixth. He's got Ortola just ahead of us. That if he's going to get on terms with Ruane and stop him getting away, he needs to attack early. Don't be surprised to see Holdgardo get his elbows out early. That glimpse at the moment. The back straight is going to be crucial, though. Yeah, there was a big mistake down there from someone at turn 12. It might have been Kelso, actually. It looked like one of the AGR bikes, but we'll have Holgado is right in touch with him, and already the top three have a very slight gap. Half a second in hand over the chasing group, led by Ortola. Yeah, definitely wasn't Kelso who made that mistake. The reason I know that, he's up to 10th already uh, from his fairly lowly group position, so he might still be in with a shout. Impressive margin, but he hasn't really been in amongst it at the sharp end all weekend long. Fourth in qualifying was good, but third, and I tell you what, having got ahead of Marrera, he's quickly detached him, and he's straight onto the rear wheel of Hull Guard of six now. It seems to be bunching up. The pace maybe not as fast as we thought of the front. Whether Ruedo is just keeping it calm at the moment. So went through the long lap penalty loop. And here we have changing the lead for the very first time. And I tell you what, Ruedo has got a fight on his hands. Chip leader leads us across the line. Yeah, he does. And uh, it's going to be interesting now to see what Ruedo chooses to do. Because ideally, he'd want it to be in his rhythm. He show flashy pace through the early part of the weekend in Portimao. But he just, he's always there. He gets all that on the inside of Danny Holgado. Rueda and still keeping a bit of a watching brief in third, but this is now interesting. Ortola out of the final chicane. If you sum on the size of Ivan Ortola, he is noticeably a lot, lot big. His way through to victory from fourth into the chicane for the final time. No way through for anyone else. Rueda will lead them out. He'll hook the white line on the left hand side, go defensive. Ortola will go the long way around and surely get it done as well. And is he going to be the man to take victory here? An unlikely one. Rueda goes left, Hulgargo goes right, but it's Buddy off that takes victory. Oh. Corner. What a performance from the man that will now sit second in a championship and